Lorenzo. Hi, Lorenzo. I'm going to put you on with the First Lady. Okay. Hey, Lorenzo. How are you doing? Hi, First Lady. How What's are you? What's going on? <laughs> I'm speaking to Michelle Obama, the First Lady of the United States. How are you? I am doing great. Good to be speaking with you. Oh. I know you've been hanging out with my husband every now and then. Oh, you heard, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I must say this, that... um. Do the Right Thing is one of my favorite movies, okay? Ours, too. <laughs> <laughs> For those that know, that was the very first movie I went to watch together, huh? Yeah, that was our first official date. Yeah. It was, a, you know, he was showing me all sides. We uh -huh. went to the Art Institute. We had lunch out by the fountain. We walked a, a long, magnificent uh -huh. mile in Chicago, and Look. he was like, yeah, let me show you my... my 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 down side. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Well, yeah, he, he, Spike Lee. So it was a great first date. I was impressed. He was definitely holding it down. He huh? was holding <laughs> it down indeed. Yeah. Well, I am eating my veggies every day. I got to tell you that I got so much energy. I'm ready for you. Okay. I can tell. See, and then you are a, a prime example of what happens when you eat right. You That's can right. get it all done. That's right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. So you're in Orlando today, huh? Absolutely. Had a wonderful, wonderful reception. I mean, it's just. You know, it's always good when I come to Florida, but mm -hmm. the, the folks here, we had thousands of people, and they were fired up and ready to go. So right. I'm just, uh, just so proud of our, our grassroots supporters on the ground. They're really getting it done. Well, I'm so glad that you mentioned that because I was trying to figure out how I was going to slide in the fact that I have my own Obama-Biden grassroots fundraiser page and I'm putting it out there trying to get people to you know to, to give to the campaign because awesome. it's so important so I have my own page so thank you oh, so much oh man that is amazing yeah. you, you, you know you are doing such good stuff out there in the community and you know I know along with raising money we got to get folks registered to, to vote. vote that's you right know so, that. so tell me a little bit because of course we know about the changes that, that have taken place here in the state of, mm -hmm. of, of Florida and I call it voter, <coughs> voter suppression <laughs> <laughs> but, well, the, but, well the key is that people need to know that voting is easy and we don't mm. want people to be intimidated in any way and we've got a fabulous website that people can go to it's called gotta vote.org g-o-t-t-a vote.org i know you'll let people know yes, how will. to get to that and that will tell anybody anywhere in the country where mm. they vote how to vote when to vote uh, the voter registration deadline is October the 9th, okay. so that is important for all your listeners to know. October the 9th is key because your voice cannot be heard if you're not registered to vote. That's and right. registration is easy. Yeah. It is a simple thing to do. And the Obama campaign, the Obama-Biden campaign, we made it even easier. So what are some of the most important issues you think are going to uh, be, be a part of this election? Health care is key. I mean, mm -hmm. we've, we, we had a historic uh, Supreme Court decision which upheld health care and we've got to make sure that gets implemented throughout mm -hmm. the state so there's still you know a fight to be had to make sure that governors across the country do what they're supposed to do to make sure that our loved ones uh, have access to the care that they need the millions of people in our lives who we know are getting their care by going to the ER mm -hmm. they don't get their regular well uh, checkups um, this Health care will ensure that millions of Americans get the health care coverage they need. Uh, but we also need to deal with immigration reform. We right. need comprehensive immigration reform passed, and that's going to be one of the president's top priorities. Now, since 2009, the mm -hmm. economy has turned around. Stock market has basically doubled. 4.4 million jobs yep. in the private sector yep. have been created. And yet and still, there has been some obstructionism. Within the Congress, and I think today another vote to appeal health care is going. I mean, what what have been some of the challenges? And I want you to share and articulate how much the president is fighting for the poor, the middle class, oh, and all goodness. Americans. And it's not it's not a uh, class warfare. Uh, absolutely, I mean this is uh, about taking care of the people who need the care the most. Mm. Um, as you said. We've gone from an economy that's losing more than 750,000 jobs every month. That's right. what Barack inherited. Right. That's what he walked into. That was what was going on before, before he took office. And mm -hmm. now we've had 28 consecutive months of job growth. As you said, more than 4 million jobs created. But we still have a lot of work to do. That's right. why we need to make sure that tax cuts are passed for working people. Mm -hmm. Right? Not right. for the wealthiest, but for folks who are working on the ground, our teachers, our firefighters are you know our nurses um, that's who he's fighting for he's cut 
uh, taxes for small businesses 18 times wow. since he's been president. Wow. So in you know even though there has been a uh, there have been a lot of people who tried to 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 you know make it harder for him this mm-hmm. president has been fighting every day to make sure that that working class families that the, the heart and soul of this country continues to have the support they need so that they can continue to pursue the american dream right you yeah. know folks in this country are like my dad you know rest rest his soul mm-hmm. but my dad got up every day to go to work so he could handle his business he didn't want to be a wealthy man he just wanted to be able to create a stable home for his mm-hmm. family send his kids to college and maybe retire with some dignity right that's what this election is about it's about folks like my dad who are doing the right thing they just want the level the the playing field to be level they want to have a chance to work hard and get ahead in this country that's what this president has been fighting for every single day every single day and i don't care if they say it's 98 percent two percent he's fighting for all americans absolutely this is about all you know making this country great uh, but starting from the bottom up. Um, that's right. <laughs> as opposed that's to right. the top down. Top right? down. That's right. That's right. Well, thank you so much, First Lady Michelle uh, thank Obama. Thank you. We are so proud of the work you're doing thank in the community. You. you keep it up. Be that role model and that leader and that voice. And and our our goal, Florida is a key state. It's a yes. swing state. If yes. we win the state, we this will put us one step closer to winning the election. So right. having our folks register to vote is key. And letting people know, Lorenzo, that registration is an easy thing to do, and do not be intimidated by the process. Well, I will Get defi- in there. I will definitely let them know the website and let everyone know that we're moving forward. forward. <laughs> <laughs> First Thanks Lady so Michelle Obama, thank you so much for the phone call, and be safe out there in Orlando. Okay. Absolutely. All take right. Care. And tell your husband I said hello. I absolutely <laughs> will. Okay. Take All care. Right. Bye bye.